Now then YouTube, I'm the Softman and welcome to, uh, well, it's a special one-off episode really. It's a special one-off episode, just showing you the team that I'm actually at the moment on Football Manager uh, 15. I do like to play this, you know, in my spare time, just w without having to record it for YouTube, without messing around or anything like that. I do like to record it every now and then, uh, just to show you guys the team that I've got at the moment. And I have to say, guys, I'm enjoying this one. Even though I got relegated last season, I'm actually enjoying this one. Um, I am FC Vitorul, which are in the uh, Romanian Second League, right? And I've just got relegated from the League One down to a special group or something like that, where only the top team gets promoted or something like that. Anyway, um, I think we're on course for doing really, really well, I think. I think so, this season. However, guys, I just want to point out why I wanted to be FC Vitorol in the first place. If I actually go to my home screen, this is my home screen. Uh, I don't know where it is that I need to look at my stuff then. I don't know. I can't remember. Either which way, guys, their youth facilities are top quality. And their training facilities are excellent as well. And this is in a Romanian league. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to give this a crack. Now, in my first season, guys, last season, I, I got relegated, and it was by three points, okay, that I got relegated at the end of the season. Was it by three points or two points? It was one of the two. And the bottom six teams, I shit you not, the bottom six teams in the Premier League for the, the, you know, the Romanian Premier League, they get relegated. It's madness. It's absolute madness. So many teams get relegated. It's, it's just madness. Um, in my first season, I had wage problems, I had balance problems, I had financial problems, you know, all that kind of stuff that comes along with it. But I had an excellent youth team, and I had an excellent youth facilities, and I had great, you know, training facilities. I thought, I might take a hit on the first season, but I can build up and build up and build up from there, get the people in from my youth squads, build them up, sell them on for money, make money, get my balance sorted, and then, you know, it'll all just happen, you know. It'll all just happen. And I very narrowly, you know, got relegated. Just by two points, I very nearly saved them. Um, but it wasn't to be. And I dropped down into this Romanian Second League Group 1. Okay, this right here. Um, and at the moment, three games in, three wins, only one goal scored against me, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying the challenge of it. And look at this for the finances, guys. Oh, there's nothing better than see it rise because you can see right over here You know it rose because I sold somebody then it dipped and kept dipping and dipping and dipping Then I sold somebody again and then it was dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping until the end of the season And then it rose and then it dippaged and then it and then it's just bloody rising since there So we're doing all right. We are doing absolutely fine and look at this for the first time in two seasons I'm having positive bank balance and this is fantastic because this means going into the future i'll have the wage budget i'll have the transfer budget i'll have all of that stuff and at the moment my team are performing really really well considering i am look at this wage budget available twelve thousand available on the wage budget that is fantastic stuff right there that is great and i'm loving it i really am loving it guys and i would suggest you know if you guys want a good challenge this team is a fantastic challenge. I remember reading um, FM Stories. There's like a website, I think it's called, you know, like FM, uh, footballmanagerstories.com or something along the lines. And there was a guy on there that did Vitorol a couple of seasons ago. And I thought to myself, oh, I wonder if they're still over in Romania. You know, they're doing well for themselves. I wonder if they're still going there. And I went over and had a look and they're sure enough, you know, they're in the Premier League or the League One or whatever it's called. And uh, I thought, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give this a try. Now, my... That look at this, 1,800, and I've also just signed a new uh, a new centre back who got injured on his first game, of course, for 1,000 per week. Other than that, I've really got nothing much to worry about with wage, not at all there. And I've got some really good young players coming through. Let's have a look. Uh, you can see the abilities right here. If I can actually go ahead and add in their age, can I do that from here, or is it is it contract? It won't be contract, will it? Where will it be? Where will you be? I thought I would have thought it would have been a general, but hmm, it's around here somewhere. Pretty sure of it. Technical stats, scouting. That's not it. Physical, mental, happiness, goalkeeping. I would have thought it had been under general. In all fairness, contract, auto, one year expiry. Blah blah blah. I don't think so. 
Well, that is interesting. I would have thought you'd be able to get the age up there, but uh, apparently not. Anyway, um, this guy is an older guy. You know, he's 25. I say older. You know, he's 25. <laughs> but he's a decent goalkeeper, you know, for this uh, for this level of football. My defence is by far the worst thing that I've got. I tried to, you know sort it out but I've got a couple of people coming back from injury and um, I've like this guy here and uh, he's injured now as well he's a fantastic player he is it will be worth some pennies is always always improving but unfortunately is a bit prone to uh, to injuries this guy who is um, about 15 isn't it? 16 so not too bad you know he will he, he'll get he'll improve he'll improve a lot with our training facilities as well he'll do really well from uh, for us and of course look at this for potential it's fantastic and I'm, I'm loving this I am absolutely loving this at the moment I uh, loaned in this guy because I didn't have a defensive left mid uh, d uh, a left defender at all so I, I loaned in Florentine Pham and he's done a really good job for me so far uh, Boitos is pretty pants in all fairness, but he's 20 years old, you know, we've got to give him some time, and these people are worth something, you know, I mean, this guy's not, but these people are worth something, 195k, and when you do sell on players, I can easily replace people, I, like, say, for example, this guy here, P Putanyu, I don't know how you pronounce that, it's three and a half stars, okay, you know, he's brilliant, you know, in comparison to my team, um, he's worth 195, I can get because it's 20, 21 years old, I can get loads more for that. I'm replacing 500 quid's worth of wages with maybe someone from my under-19s. Who look at this. Uh, Bogdan Tiru is actually in my first team. But um, I've got people in here who are quali who can sl uh, sl slip into my squad and I can replace them with 20 quid per week wage and I've just made a load of profit. And I would suggest, you know, guys, give it a try. Give Vitarul a try. And if you are going to give Vitarul a try and you're doing something for YouTube, maybe, give me a shout because I would definitely love to watch that. You know, somebody that actually knows what they're doing on Football Manager. <laughs> I would love to watch that because I love Football Manager stories and uh, on that website. And there's a guy on, uh, on, on my Facebook um Andy Sharif, I think his name is, and he keeps posting stuff up there that he does with FIFA, and he, he posts like a few games up and he does some like little commentary over what's what's happened over the time, and you can read his story with his Sunderland career, and I, I love that kind of stuff, you know, I love that kind of stuff, where they place themselves in the manager's shoes, and I'm I'm doing I'm doing fantastically this season. Not you know not so great last season, but this season I'm doing fantastically. And let me know, guys, if you would like to see some more on uh, FC Vitoral because you know what I, I'd like to give you uh, more regular updates on this. But uh, I just what, thought I'd give you guys a, a bit of a look into what's going on here. This is pretty awesome, guys. I like this. I like this. Now, I said in previous episodes of my. Um, my Wolfsburg and my other one for the Liverpool one that you, you concede a lot of corners you concede a lot of crosses I think I may have found my issue now what I've started to do and it seemed to have worked right I don't know if this is just fluke I don't know if it's a bug that's been fixed now and the reason that's the reason why I'm not doing it but when you go into opposition instructions right at the start of the match you can tell people to you know get onto people to closely mark them close them down quick show them on the weaker foot and stuff like that I've done that every single match right and I've told them to close down the wings Mark them tightly on the wings, get them showing on uh, the you know the weaker foot, normal tackling on that, and I concede very little amount of crosses and corners now, very little amount of crosses. I don't know whether or that's that's just my back line doing a good job. I don't know whether it is that kind of tactic, but if you guys are struggling, I would tr I'd try that out, see if it does actually work. But anyway, guys, there you are, FC Vitoro. I do hope you're going to enjoy it. Till next time, guys. The tough man as always. Stay safe.